Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome back to another analytics tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to have a look at the admin section in Google Analytics and understand our account structure. So to get started, please get on to your analytics dashboard and click on admin. This is the account structure in Google Analytics and how it works is that every account has a number of properties within it and every property has a number of views within it. So you can have up to 100 accounts. Each account will have up to 150 properties and each property can have up to 25 views. Now let me just explain what each of these means. Now if you were to start a company, for example, say Example Inc. Example would be the name of your account and for each of your account you'll have different properties. Now say if your company had a website, a mobile app, uh, a mobile website and so on, different digital platforms, for each of those platforms you'd create a different property because every property comes with a tracking code. So you would have a different tracking code for your mobile app, say for your iOS app, for your Android app, for your desktop website, for your mobile website and so on. So you can have different properties for each of your digital properties. Now each property can have different views. What I mean by that is, for example, if I go to my website, as you can see, my website is divided into two parts. One is social media marketing and one is analytics. Now, if anyone were to go into any of the social media pages, they would always see that the link will start from category slash social media marketing. And for analytics, it would be category slash analytics. Now, what if I want to track both of these separately and I want to understand how users are interacting with my content in social media marketing or my content in analytics. So I will create two separate views for that. So what I always do is that first we have to have a raw view where we have not tampered with the data at all, which is the default view that Google already creates all website data. So I just go under view settings and call this raw data. So I will not make any changes to it to this data at any point of time. Now what I always like to do is create another view called test view where I will test everything I want to before I implement it to my actual views so that in case there is any issues those they don't get implemented in the views where I'm actually tracking my data. So let's create a copy of this view. You can click on copy view here and let's call this test view. And now I have a test view. So if you see in the test view, if you go under view settings, you will find an option called exclude all hits from known bots and spiders. This is something that you should always do and exclude these traffic so that what the traffic that you see on your dashboards are all relevant. So let's save the test view here. And now what I want to do is I want to copy the test view as well and create something called master view. Now my master view is the view I would want to work on. This is all the traffic excluding the bots from my site and I will always trust this data for everything. Now what I want to do is I want to create a new view. create view and now in this view I will only want traffic from this section of my website where the category is social media marketing so I'm going to go to filter create a new filter I'm going to select one of the predefined filter called include only traffic from subdirectories that are equal to and I will just select this and paste it here. Let's verify the filter before we apply it. 
all right for some reason the verification system is not working let me just save this view and there you go now i have a view for all my social media marketing traffic so if i go into this and i were to go into audiences right now this has zero traffic because whenever you create a new view it tracks traffic only from the time you have created the view so if i were to just refresh this page and go under real time there you can see that there there is one active user on the side that is me sitting here in mumbai and the active page is category social media marketing it is not going to track any of these other pages since the view is meant only to track social media marketing pages if i go back under the admin so there you go i have three different views now one is for my raw data one is for master view one is to track a specific part you can create these different kind of views for different sections of your website of your app however you want to see your data and make sense of it i hope this was useful to you if you have any doubts or queries please reach out to me and i'll be more than happy to help you out thank you and have a great day